Hello, this is Tobias Carling from the Carling Adrenal Center. Thank you for reviewing this video. You will see a completely unedited right adrenalectomy operation. This is a patient with a right pheochromosatoma, which was removed in nine minutes. The patient is undergoing a right mini back scope adrenalectomy. What you see is exactly what happened during the operation. The video is completely unedited. It is not sped up. So the patient is a 32 year old female with classical signs and symptoms of pheochromosatoma. Her biochemical evaluation was une unequivocal. For instance, her plasma free metanephrines were 30 times the normal upper limit. She was preoperatively blocked with an alpha blocker for two weeks. And on imaging, she had the right three centimeter adrenal tumor with an imaging phenotype, which is quite typical for a pheochromocytoma. The family history is non-contributory, but the Carling Adrenal Center recommends genetic testing for all pheochromocytoma patients. You can review the CT scan here showing a right adrenal tumor. A fair amount of the operation starting out is mobilizing the right kidney, which I'm retracting with my grasper. At the beginning of the operation, I've placed a 12 millimeter incision just below the tip of the 12th rib, and then blunt dissection creates the retroperineal working space. Two additional five millimeter ports are placed on the direct visualization, forming a triangular configuration for the endoscope and instruments. A 5 mm endoscope is inserted and carbon dioxide insufflation maintains a pressure of 28 mm mercury to expand the retroperineal space. I first identify key landmarks, including the paraspinous muscle and the right kidney. The dissection proceeds carefully to expose the right adrenal gland, avoiding injury to nearby structures like the inferior vena cava. Here I'm mobilizing the very inferior portion of the adrenal gland. And as you shall see soon, deep to my ligature device is the inferior vena cava. And to the right hand side, you can now see the pheochromosatoma. The pheochromosatoma is sort of purplish in color, whereas the Vena cava is obviously blue and at the, at, at the background of the picture here. Using a ligature device all small vessels are ligated with thermal injury or energy and I meticulously dissect the adrenal gland from the surrounding tissues. As you can see, there's limited or no bleeding. Here I'm dissecting the medial aspect of the adrenal tumor and to the right of the ligature is the liver on the right side. 
and there's numerous small veins and arteries supplying the adrenal gland, which are all controlled with the ligature. In this particular case, the short right adrenal vein was tucked underneath the pheochromocytoma and using meticulous dissection, I mobilize the tumor of the IVC. Again, as you can see, I'm using the grasper to push the adrenal gland, but not grabbing adrenal tissue because it's friable. And for pheochromocytomas, if you spill tumor cells, they can reimplant and cause pheochromocytomatosis. So the tumor is handled very carefully. First of all, not to spill tumor cells, but also not to release unnecessary amounts of metanephrines that will create hypertension during the operation. Here I'm ligating the short right adrenal vein using the ligature. And meticulously peeling the tumor of the vena cava. Once the tumor is freed from all the attachments, I remove it back and here we are now releasing the retroperoneal pressure to expand the IVC to ensure that there's no bleeding coming from the IVC. And as you can see, it's completely dry. The adrenal gland is placed in an endoscopic retrieval bag to prevent tumor spillage. The specimen is extracted through the initial midline mid incision, which may be slightly enlarged if necessary. And you can see the gross pathology here. Thank you again for watching.